Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you briefly about Google Classroom. We are already pretty well off when it comes to Google Classroom because we have been using this ever since the trimester started. Our first lab day of the trimester, we went down to the lab, we signed up for our Google Classroom using our code, we used Google Classroom to access No Red Ink, we've used Google Classroom to access Common Lit, we've gotten so many links. Um, and materials through Google Classroom. So you're already familiar with this. Understand that some other students may not be and they may be having a little bit of issue with it. Some of your teachers may not be familiar with Google Classroom and they may be having some issue with it. That's okay. We're all just trying to get through the NTI days or the non-traditional instruction days the best we can until we kind of get the hang of things. So I just want to go over a couple of things that you need to know to use Google Classroom effectively. And since this video is being published for my 10th graders, I'm gonna pick one of my English 2 classrooms. So when we jump in here, we see a lot of different things. We see our header, you know, I can obviously change the theme and upload the photo if I want to. But the main two things I want you to take away from here are the stream and the classwork tabs. Those two tabs are pretty important. Uh, as a quick note, you'll want to go ahead and make sure that you're signed into your school Google account. Please do not use your personal Google account because you, you can't access all the stuff we want to. I'm really gonna be filtering pretty hard the emails that come from personal accounts. Try to use your school email account. As a matter of fact, Google Classroom, you have to use your student stuff. So make sure you're onto that. So we'll start with the stream, since that's where you first start when you click on a class. This is a collection of all the things, the materials, the assignments, the links, the whatevers that have been posted in this class from the beginning of the trimester until now. At the top here, we have some of the newer things. Here was something that was posted at 2.41 p.m., and then here was something at 2.35 p.m. today. I'm recording this on Sunday. And then before that, there was something that went live at a quarter after 12. Before that, there was something from yesterday. So you can see that it goes backwards in time. And it goes all the way to the beginning of the class. Or when I first put the first announcement in here on February 20th. Everything that we do absolutely will be found in the stream. Now, it's covered up with all the stuff that we've done, but it is in here. If you're having trouble finding something, slow down, scroll a little slower, and eventually you will find it. That's probably the best advice I can give you for the stream. Now, these um, big announcements like this that I'll post from time to time to help you out, those can only be found in the stream. We're going to talk in a minute about how classwork helps you filter some things, but one thing that you will not see from the second year in the classwork tab are announcements. Everything else, links, materials, assignments, quizzes, that sort of thing, those will be in there. Just the announcements and reminders are going to be stream only. With that said, let's take a look at our classwork tab. So when we click on the classwork tab, what we see now is uh, more organized. This looks a little bit neater to my eye. A more organized list of the things that we've done. We can see assignments which are usually marked with the little clipboard. We can see links or materials which are usually um, these little, they kind of look like a book with a bookmark in there. That's the icon there. And those are really helpful. Um, we can see that the way I've got things set up um, is in different categories. You can see it's kind of organized by a subtopic. At the very top of the classwork page, over here on the left, you can see that we have different categories. Right now I'm showing all topics, but let's say I just wanted to look at Animal Farm. If I click that, there it is. If I click Free Rights, there's that. Helpful Links is also here. Um, these will just be the links that I've posted I think you might find helpful. Here's the link for Kentucky's Cabinet for Health and Family Services, specifically about the COVID-19 or coronavirus, which is, you know, 
helpful. And again, two things we shouldn't be spreading right now are germs and rumors. This site will help with both. So if you're trying to look for real information, this is where to go. Uh, other stuff we'll have in here probably pertains a little more to class or to our school function is our common lit login, uh, the John Harden homepage, which is really helpful. And here's the link to our library media center page. And of course the student access page for infinite campus, all that stuff is going to be able to help you out. If you are looking for a vocab assignment, you can click on the vocabulary tab and it'll be right here for you. That's not a problem. If you're looking for stuff for really any subtopic that we will create, um, if you're having trouble in the stream seeing things, or if you just scroll and scroll and scroll and say, it's not there, it's not there, I don't see it, I don't see it, you might want to click on the classwork tab, then check these categories out. Now, the one exception is, let's say there's an assignment like this one that doesn't really fit into any of these categories. Unless I create a category where I do think it fits, I'm just going to leave it as an uncategorized assignment and it will live up at the top of the page. But there will be a home for it. So there will always be a way for you to see your assignments and things that you're supposed to do and get your materials within Google Classroom. It's going to be really important that we're using Google Classroom every day, check in multiple times a day, just to make sure that you got everything. I don't want to give you any sort of anxiety about this. And uh, again, here shortly, you should be receiving a schedule, not just for me, but for all your teachers, um, what they want you to do, what websites they want you to use to complete your assignments, and exactly how those are supposed to be done. I will tell you for me, Google Classroom is going to be the way to go. I imagine for some of your other teachers, they will also ask you to go there. Some of your teachers may have something else in mind. Just make sure you're checking regularly on all your classes and you shouldn't have any issue. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, my email is in Google Classroom and it's also going to be on the schedule of work. And we also wrote that down the first day of class. So you can contact me through there and I'll answer as soon as I can.